That's right. Good morning. Just a heads up. I have been legally dope sick now. You heard me right. Legal dope sick. Here's the problem, gang. I have a hip injury that's destroying me. I can't even sit in my fucking chair anymore. I gotta be on the floor. So I find a new doctor and they prescribe me fentanyl. What's funny is some of you lightweight motherfuckers are dropping dead left and right from a little bit. I have a 12 milligram patch. Well, I don't have it now. Couldn't kill a fly. Oh, unless one of you lightweights out there. We had to go on street level to find something a little stronger. I'll leave it at that because there's legalities. Kind of works. And then there's the thing with the 25 milligram patch. Slap that motherfucker on. Okay. You know what you're going to do the next morning? You're going to dry heave. You're going to spend 30 minutes dry heaving. If you're lucky, you can puke something up. I got a bunch of medicines over here that don't fucking work. Gabafitin. Gabafitin. How about naproxens? I got 500 milligram naproxen. Shit don't fucking work. We called a... No shit, they hacked a phone number. We called a phone number we thought was their doctor's office. It goes, you know what to do. And then it clicked into the phone message, which tells me someone hacked the system so they can use your name, birth date, and everything and go to Walgreens, Walmart, wherever, and pick up your narcotic prescription. So... Tuesday rolls around. We make contact with the real doctor's office. What a fuck up. They call the pharmacy. Uh, me and the pharmacist have a weird history together. Let's just leave it at that. So this morning, I ran out of medicine last night, basically. Three days on a patch, and that third day don't work, by the way. First thing I noticed was how clear my mind is. And I've been going downhill every hour since. It's a... Um, 1040, 49 sound in the morning. That's right, I'm legal dope sick off of fentanyl. I am legal dope sick. I've been through withdrawals five times. I even had a girlfriend die of an overdose. I used to shoot shit in my fucking arm. And I told the doctor, I don't want to go through this shit. Okay, well, but I'm in pain. Here's the thing, though. I'm taking their stupid fucking patches. It burns. It burns your skin. It leaves marks. They can tell if you're fucking doing it or selling it. Ain't no goddamn help, dude. Ain't no goddamn help when I can't even sit in my fucking chair. I can't get help. No, my I new doctor's okay, but we haven't got a blood test on me. We haven't even got an updated scan, an X-ray, or nothing. Right now, we just can't even get the pain relief so that's the trick man I'm gonna put you on the ship but here's the thing you're gonna end up dope sick now Walgreens from what I was told don't give a fuck they get X amount of dope and that's it and when they run out they run out run out and fuck you and your needs now we're at the hospital in that pharmacy we called this morning and they said well we got it on order it might show up today between 10 30 and 11 o'clock on a fedex truck what happens to me if it don't show up you know what's happening to me right now i'm fucking dope sick yeah just one fix yeah i'm legal dope sick something to think about something to think about when you get your narcotic prescriptions from here on out whoever the fuck's watching this all two of you one of you whoever the fuck legal dope sick they don't care anymore and fentanyl's supposed to be so fucking bad that, yeah, uh, it have been a lot worse, trust me. Luckily, I haven't been on this shit long, but I feel it, so, smoke some bud. I'll get you a giant bottle of this. But I'll tell you what, I told my old lady this. I think I'd rather drink myself to death than trust this shit with the fucking medicines. Honestly, if I was on hospice... Yeah, I can't qualify for hospice because I'm not within that death range yet, even though I'm fucking falling apart. Yeah, at least with hospice, I have a nurse showing up every couple of days to put a new patch on, got my medicines, the medicines are there, I got people watching this, adjusting accordingly. What am I supposed to do? They've not called a date. 
we joke about that roulette wheel, red or black. Yesterday I put all my money on black and won like a motherfucker. Usually I bet on red. Today I said I don't trust it. Yeah. Well, we'll call you, but it's supposed to come in on a... Fa We're talking... I don't know what it is. I don't know if I have a 12 or a 25 if my script got bumped up to something I can manage. So here I am. It's... We're just starting the dope sick process. This ain't that bad. But I'm not worth a shit today. So just heads up. If you de if you depend on somebody for your drug habit, or if you depend on a legal source for your narcotic, it becomes a habit. It does. It becomes a habit. You become a junkie. Whether you want to admit it or not, you are a fucking junkie. If you're using shit for pain relief, you're a motherfucking junkie. I know, it's a junkie talking to other junkies. You know you're a junkie. You just Some people, I met a woman that had 100 milligram morphines back in the day, and I called her a junkie, and she didn't like that. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're on this shit, ain't you? You depend on this shit, don't you? You start getting sick when you don't have your script, don't you? You're a motherfucking junkie, man. And that's what it is. It's legal dope sick. We're no better than the people on the street to shoving xylazine in their arm. At least the xylazine can knock them out. This shit could knock an elephant out. Yeah, this little shit couldn't even knock an elephant out. What the fuck, man? Waking up screaming in pain, throwing up. I might get half a day of relief, maybe. And then if I get relief, it masks the pain to where I hurt myself. I'm done. Cheers, junkies. All of you falling for this trick. It's better, I think, just to drink yourself. Just drink. Don't. <laughs> I like my new doctor and everything, but I don't trust this because you have to call the nurses and get the right phone numbers, jump through hoops of fire, then the pharmacy has to get it, and they got to contact insurance, and if they don't have it in supply, then they got to wait for FedEx. God knows. God knows. <laughs> and then here you sit. Here you sit for a while. Monkeys, junk monkeys, your only salvation. Just one fix. Just one fix. That's right. Yeah, legal dope sick, man. It's a lot of fun. Be aware. When I'm going through the day, I've been through worse. I've been through worse. I mean, I've been through a lot worse. So, luckily, I've only been on this shit for a couple, three weeks. But still, I'm feeling agitated. I'm not a happy camper. I need my fix, and it ain't there. Yeah, everything they give me in the prop, they don't help. I eat this shit like candy, like Skittles. I have a hip injury now. I can't even sit in my chair, and they're not fixing shit. They, here, we'll throw some pills at this, and it's like, well, where, where do we get to the point where this gets better? You know, I, either my medicine's on time and timely, and I'm doing things proper. I don't have to go out on the street to find somebody to help me. I quit. I don't know no dope people no more. I'm not a drug addict anymore. I'm an alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic. I smoke weed, but I am an alcoholic. And it's not by choice either. I do it because I'm in pain. Alcohol's never been my first choice. <coughs> so, one salute. Good luck to you with that doctor and that fentanyl patch. Yeah, put mine right here close to the heart. Close to that vein. Boom. Hit that shit, but if you're depending on a doctor or a pharmacy to keep you well, to keep you out of pain, you're unless you're on hospice, man, you're fucked and you're miserably wrong. Welcome to the new age of medicine. Blessing to you. Good luck. Just one fix. Just one fix. <laughs>